Hello, Morris class. It's Miss Baker here, and welcome to your Thursday English lesson. Today is the 25th of February 2021. Our learning objective is Can I learn the beginning of the story map and use speech marks? Can I learn the beginning of the story map and use speech marks? Well done. So, yesterday we learned the beginning, the first paragraph of our story map. OK, so for this lesson, you will need listening ears, magnet eyes and your work from yesterday. But first, we are going to go through our story map that we learned yesterday. Now, I need to find my notes to see where I oh, found it, found it. Now, I might not remember the actions, so you need to help me. OK, so let's go back. Let me angle myself and then let's see if we can remember together. So stop share. Okay, right, I'm ready. So, okie dokie, I'm going to start with, so starting from here, okay, ready? Katie and the sunflowers, okay. Grandma, was helping Katie plant some seeds in the garden when it started to rain. This part now. Right. The rain will make everything grow, said Grandma delightedly. Right. This part. Right. What shall we do now, said Katie. Is that a full stop? No, there's no full stop. Right. Grandma, who loved art, suggested that they go to an art gallery. Well done, Morris class. Now, if you have, if you don't remember the actions, just rewind, rewind this little segment that we performed together a few times, and I'm sure you will be a pro. Okie dokie, let's begin our lesson for today. I need to keep my script handy for our next lesson. Right, share screen, off we go. Okie dokie, let me get back into position now because all of my setup has been uh, rejigged. There we go, I'm back. Right, so if you don't already have your work from yesterday where you completed your quote, can you go and grab that now, please? Pause the video here, grab it now, and then I'll wait for you. And when you come back, we'll continue. Okie dokie. Doo -doo -doo. My arrow never works. I don't know what's wrong with this. I'm pressing, it doesn't go on to the, oh, it worked. It's gone to the next page. Okay, right, well, so I might make myself a bit smaller. Okay, we use speech marks. So that's the baby 66 and the baby 99. So we use speech marks to show which character is speaking. Now remember, what was that special word that begins, that began, a bill begins with a D? So when a character is speaking in a story, what is that called? Begins with a D, does anybody remember? Can you shout it to your screen? Well done, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. So that tells us when a character is speaking. Now, I would like you to focus on who is saying these things, okay? Now, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, bear with me one second while I drink some water. Okay, who is saying these words? Oh, good. Now, let's read the next few words and it will tell us who said it. Oh, good, said grandma. So we have open speech marks, oh, good. Close speech marks, said grandma, full stop. The rain will make everything grow. Now, who is, who is saying the rain will make everything grow? Right, let me get my highlighter ready. Who is saying this part? The rain will make everything grow. Who says that? Well done, grandma says it. So she says her speech, her dialogue starts from the first line and it it's literally in one line, okay? But because the page is, because the text is written in like a box, that's why it's not on a full line. Oh, good, said grandma. The rain will make everything grow. So that's grandma speak. So that's right, grandma. I'll put G for grandma. Okay, now I would like a different color for the highlighter, please. So highlighter, I would like blue. 
but what shall we do now? Now, can you see when you read this, there's a open speech marks, but what shall we do now? Question mark. What shall we do now? Said Katie. OK, it's close speech marks and said Katie. So we know that it is Katie who is the one who is saying this line. So Katie is the one who is saying, but what shall we do now? Said Katie. And we know it's Katie because it says said Katie. OK, now who is saying this next line? I'm going to use a different colour for my highlighter. What colour shall I use in Mara's class? I knew you would choose purple because you all know that's my favourite colour. OK, let's go to the gallery. So open speech mark. Let's go to the gallery. Close speech mark. Said grandma. So we know it's grandma who's saying it. Now, who says this line? You always have fun there. Who was saying that line? Do you know? Well done. It is still grandma. So grandma is saying this. Now, let's go to the gallery, said Grandma. You always have fun there. So open speech mark and close speech mark. OK, so we've got Grandma who was saying two things and Katie has said one thing. So Grandma's a bit of a chatterbox. She's doing the majority of the talking. OK, now, yesterday you filled in a quote, what you thought, or a piece of dialogue, what you thought um, that the character was saying. OK, so for this picture, it says, shall we go to the gallery? Now, I am going to model or I'm going to um, show you how to write. Shall we go to the gallery in a sentence just like this one right here? Let's go to the gallery, said Grandma. OK, when we are writing it in a story, we need to say who said it, because if we just had this and we didn't have this information. So. If it didn't say this, or, oops, or this, said Katie, or this, what's wrong with my phone? Or this, said Grandma, in our story, we wouldn't know who is talking. It would just say, oh good, the rain will make everything grow, but what shall we do now? Let's go to the gallery. You always have fun there. Now, when we read it out, that makes sense. You can tell that someone is having a conversation, OK, because there is like a statement and then someone is asking a question and then someone is giving a reply. What should we do now? Let's go to the gallery. And then there's another statement. You always have fun there. But without the said grandma, said Katie, we don't know which character is talking, which character is speaking, whose dialogue, who does the dialogue belong to? So. Shall we go to the gallery? Let's let's turn this quote and let's turn it into dialogue and we're going to write it together. Now, what you need to do is whichever speech mark. Um, so from your work yesterday, whatever quote that you have used, you are going to follow the same rules and write the same. OK, so first, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open speech marks. Open speech marks means baby 66. Now I'm going to try and do my neatest handwriting because I'm writing on the with the pen, so it might not be as neat, but bear with me. Right, capital letter. Shall we go to the gallery? Capital S. And oh, shall. Oh dear goodness me, that is not neat. Let's try that again. Try that again. Much better. Shall we? Go to the oh, 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 oh. let's try that again. Gallery. Now that's a question. She's asking a question. And who is asking that question? Who is it? Well done, it's grandma. Said grandma. Grandma, it's a name, capital G, G, R, and Ma, M, and a, ah, 
and full stop on the end. OK, so this is how we would write the dialogue in a story. Shall we go to the gallery, said Grandma. OK, let's do another one together. Let go of the sunflowers, Zazu. And we've got Katie pulling the sunflowers and Zazu being a little bit mischievous, trying to pull the sunflowers towards him and they're having a bit of a tug of war. Now, again, using speech marks, let's write the dialogue. And remember, we need to write who is speaking. OK, now let's go. What do I need to start with? Well done, baby 66. Open speech mark. Right, capital all. Let go of the sunflowers for hours. Zazu, it's a name, so capital Z. Oh, Zazu with an exclamation mark because she is really, really cross, isn't she? You can tell that Katie is cross because of the exclamation mark. She's saying, let's go of the sunflower, Zazu, with an exclamation mark on the end. That exclamation mark does not look like an exclamation mark. It looks like something else. Okay, now, instead of just saying said Katie, what is another word that we can use instead of said? Because she's not just saying it. What is she doing? She's well done she's a little bit angry she's saying it with aggression so we could say shouted shouted katie or we could say exclaimed katie right um i'm going to do i'm just going to write shouted katie so shouted or you could do exclaimed x or a and Katie, capital K, because it's her name. Katie, and then I've got a full stop on the end. So let's read it back. Open speech mark. Let go of the sunflower, Zazu. Close speech mark. Shouted, exclaimed Katie, full stop. Now, can you see there is a difference now? Let me read it to you. What a Not what a bad one looks like, but what a boring one looks like. Let go of the sunflowers, said Katie. That's a, what a boring one looks like. Now, what an exciting one looks like. Let go of the sunflowers, shouted or exclaimed Katie. Can you see the difference? Well done. Now, when, when the reader is reading it, they know that there is, she is not happy. She's not enraged, but she's very cross because she's exclaiming it. She's making a bold statement. She's saying, let go. Okay. Now, challenge one, children. This is your task. So yesterday, using your work from yesterday, you are going to write your, your sentences using speech marks and you're going to write the word said or, or explained or um, says Katie, whatever you choose, okay? Or you can just do said Katie, okay? I'll write it here for you. So, oh no, the flowers, um, I'll write here just so. said, I don't know why my handwriting is on a slant, Katie. Okay, you need to add that in along with your speech marks. So that's a baby 66 opening speech mark and close speech mark. Now your punctuation, so that's your, your comma, full stop, goes inside the speech bubble, uh, speech mark, sorry, it goes inside your speech mark. OK, so once you have completed those two sentences, upload on a tapestry for Miss Baig to see. All right, challenge two. You're going to use your work from yesterday to write your own speech marks, your own dialogue. OK, you need to focus on the, just like I've done over here, this part. This is your main focus, the shouted or exclaimed Katie. And again, this is your main focus, said grandma. Because when you are writing it down in a story, we need to know who said it. Otherwise, it looks like this and we don't know who is talking. OK. All right. Once you've completed that. Challenge three. So you did four um, 
quotes yesterday. Now, you, what you are going to do is you're going to do the exact same. You're going to write it in a dialogue form and you're going to do this. Said Katie or exclaimed or replied Katie or asked Katie. OK, again. As an extra challenge or super, super extra challenge, try using a different word instead of said. Now, I have given an example of how you can use a different word. So even if you're doing challenge two, I would like you to use a different word instead of said, because I am sure that you are able to do it. Okie dokie, Maris class. We have come to the end of our English lesson based on speech marks um, and dialogue. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, if you are stuck at any point, then please rewind the video and go through the examples again with myself. And until the next video, take care, stay safe, keep smiling, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.